record button. See what happens. Dylan McLaughlin joining us here on Ice Hogs Media Day. If you wish to ask Dylan a question, use that raise your hand feature. And Dylan, we just got done talking with head coach Derek King, and he said it's great to see a player jump back in the lineup after sitting out a couple of days and contribute. You did exactly that uh, just the other night in Grand Rapids with a goal and an assist, the game-winning goal in overtime. What does that do for your confidence, knowing that you can jump right in there and continue playing at, at a high level and, and contribute almost immediately? Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely helps the the confidence. Um, like you said, I was out for I think it was three games in a row there. So I mean, I got to see see the guys play, and uh, I mean, every day you just got to work hard and you got to take advantage of your opportunity that you get. So I mean, it was nice to it was nice to contribute a little bit and uh, help the team win there. You know. And you've seen goaltender Matt Tompkins all season long. You've seen him try and get going in the beginning of the season and in the last two games, what bounce back performances. As a guy on that bench watching your goaltender make a career-high 42 saves, what did that do for everybody on the bench to feed off of that momentum and continue to battle and ultimately get the win the other night? Yeah, I mean, Tomer's been awesome all year. Uh, he gives us such a, such a level of confidence for the team, um, especially last game. I mean – Almost everything that was coming his way was being stopped, and he made some crazy saves. So, I mean, he's awesome. He's been awesome all year. And now you got Grand Rapids again tomorrow night in Grand Rapids. How do you replicate that success? I know you don't want to be limited to so few scoring chances and having your goaltender make so many saves, but how do you tweak things to come out with the same effort, the same victory, but maybe being able to clean up either defensively or offensively? Yeah, I mean, Grand Rapids is – I mean, they're they're a really good team. They have a lot of good players, so – um, I thought, I thought we weathered it, uh, weathered it pretty good, uh, last game. And I mean, obviously we have a lot to work on and we're going to, we're going to watch some video and keep getting better every day. So we're excited for this next game. Jay Taft, your line is active. Hey Dylan, what's the key for overtime? You got back to back overtime wins here for you guys. What, you know, what, what's the key for the mindset going into overtime? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, it's it's a completely different game out there. Overtime, you have so much more space. Um, so I think it's it's all about reading the play a little bit. I mean, on uh, on my goal there, I, I saw that I think it was Smith on the other team. He came out wide and he took a shot, and it was a great stop from Tomer. And I knew there was a chance he would miss the net or it kicked out wide. So I kind of was patient with it a little bit. So um, and then it came around the boards there. So I think it's a lot of different reads and. I mean, you got to use your speed, use your your smart. So, um, yeah, it's 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 definitely different, but uh, I'm gl- we're glad that we got the win. How important is it for you guys to kind of keep some momentum going here as well? Um, just build some chemistry, get get into some rhythm a little bit. Yeah, I think it's I think it's huge. I I think that the last game here, that win was huge for us. I mean. They've beaten us pretty good the past couple of times we played them. And I mean, it was a hard fought, hard fought game. Uh, so I think that that's just going to help build us, uh, build the momentum up even more. I mean, every time we play them, uh, every game that we play. So I think that was huge for us. Good. Thanks, Bill. Yep. Greg Boyson, your line is active. Thank you. Hey, Dylan, uh, last season, you kind of jumped back and forth between here and Indy, kind of split equal amount of games between the two. Um, how, has, how has being just here with the Ice Hogs uh, kind of been uh, beneficial for you instead of bouncing back between the two leagues? Yeah, I mean, it's it's helpful for sure. I mean, I've been here for uh, – this is my second full year, so, I mean, I'm comfortable here. And um, like, like I said, like, I mean, you got to take advantage of every opportunity that you get, so – I'm just going to try to do that every get every game and try to help the team win uh, as best I can. And do you think with all the extra bodies here that n- normally wouldn't be here in a, in a quote unquote normal season, is that, has that helped you improve your game knowing that you got to work even that harder to kind of stay in the lineup since there are so many extra guys also looking to play? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, every day you're competing for a spot. Um, I mean, spot in the lineup I mean this is our this is our career so I mean uh every day we got to work super hard and work on the little things whether you're in the lineup or or not in the lineup so um every, we just we all have to just keep getting better every day so that's for sure important thank you yeah. 
Scott Leber, I see your hand just popped up. Your line is active, sir. Hi, Dylan. Um, how will you, uh, obviously every year you want to continue to develop your game and become better. Uh, how will you gauge your personal progress this year? What are you looking for from yourself? What areas are you focused in on, you know, cleaning up, sharpening a little bit? Uh, any Anything along those lines you can share with us? Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, one of the big things is is playing more of a two way game. I mean, uh, I'm playing more center this year, so you got you have a lot of responsibilities in your D zone as a centerman. Um, just being hard on pucks, uh, getting to the net, using using my speed. So I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that that I want to keep working on, and that uh, I mean I brought it into this year. So uh, yeah, there's a lot for sure. And you guys uh, on, on the road, you played in front of some fans, sparse crowds a little bit uh, at home, no fans, but how have you guys adjusted to that? Not having fans there to kind of help provide a little bit of energy and get you going. Has it been as challenging as you thought it would be, or maybe you don't really notice the absence of the fans because you're so locked in on the action. Yeah, it's, it's definitely weird. Um, uh, I, I didn't think going into it that you'd notice it too much, but like now that you've been in, that we've been into a couple uh, arenas that have fans, like it does make a difference. Like uh, it's it's so it's so fun like, having people there, and you definitely get that a little extra energy. But I mean, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We all have a job to do, and we we have to be ready every time we play. But um, having fans there, I mean, I, I personally, I mean, it's been better when the fans are there for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. That'll conclude our media session with you, Dylan. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.